The other detail is eating enough. What most people find, especially in their earlier stages of eating raw, is that they tell me they're hungry a lot. They're hungry all the time. And, and the reason for this basically is that we're used to eating a certain amount of food. But that food was highly refined food. Our food is completely whole food. And what whole food means is that all the water is still in it. You know, the standard Western diet is 8 to 12 glasses of water per day deficient, which is why the doctors say drink 8 to, 10, 8 to 12 glasses of water a day, because the food is 8 to 12 glasses deficient. Well, we get that water in our food which is why when Timmy was fasting, he needed to drink some water because he wasn't eating food. The water had to come from somewhere. So our food also has, as you may have noticed, a tremendous amount more fiber than standard Western diet. Between the extra water and the extra fiber, our food has tremendously more volume. The volume translates into calories per bite. I don't care how big your bite is, how many bites. You know, I'll ask people, like, how many bites in a banana? Ten. Ten. You're guessing. You're guessing. Check on the next one. I'm going to guess seven. All right? For you. How many bites in a banana? How big? Good. Uh, four or five. Four or five. And I believe, and I believe you. And, and if it was a contest, could you do it in three? Absolutely. <laughs> Two? <laughs> so, but still calories per bite is, an, is, a, is a unique count per person. How big you're... I talked to somebody, we were talking about how many bites in a hamburger, and I said four, and they go, 16. And I'm going, no way, I couldn't make a hamburger last for 16 bites. And he goes, listen, I eat a lot of hamburgers. I know there's 16 bites in a hamburger. I go, fine, for you. But it's, so it's a person-dependent size. But the number of calories per bite goes down dramatically when we start eating raw food. We're eating food that is far less calorie-dense. Now, there's been a lot of research done on low-calorie-dense foods. A lot. And people food really only boils down to fruits and vegetables. That's the, that's the only food that you can sneak up on <laughs> without getting hurt. And even then, how many have fallen out of a tree? Uh, okay, so you can still, you can manage to get hurt, but your likelihood of getting hurt when you're sneaking up on a raspberry is minimum. It's just minimum. Whereas if you try to catch a squirrel, the squirrel won't kill you. But the infections from the scratches will. You'll die. You'll only catch one squirrel. You'll die of the infections. We just can't, we can't hunt like hunters do. We're just not built for it. But we are built in our minds to be hunters. We love it. We love the chase. I can, oh, I love sneaking up on a peach. <laughs> Sometimes, with my, with my asparagus in my garden, I sneak up, I really go, I, I'm quiet. I go really quiet. And I have them growing in a raised bed that's about this high off the ground, so, so I, don't have, I don't have to get on my hands and knees. But I used to have them on the ground. I would go in on my hands and knees. I would slink in. And then I would get right close to that asparagus, make sure it didn't sense any of my carbon dioxide, because you know it might just pull right back under or something. I don't know. And then I would I would go and I would roar once and then bite its head off. That was about me being a hunter, right? I could hunt asparagus. That's about the t that's about the end of our hunting abilities. 